There won't be baseball in Chavez Ravine on March 31st after all. Despite a ninth straight day of negotiations between Major League Baseball owners and the Players' Union on Tuesday, Commissioner Rob Manfred announced the cancellation of the first week of regular season games with the side still unable to agree on a new collective bargaining agreement. The decision will cause the biggest disruption yet to a 2022 campaign that had already seen off-season activity halted, the early weeks of spring training lost and a portion of the exhibition schedule cancelled. Now the regular season is under siege too, with the first two series of the schedule wiped out league-wide, the Dodgers were supposed to be on a seven-game homestand against the Colorado Rockies and Arizona Diamondbacks starting March 31st, and animosity between the sides continuing to persist amid. For the Dodgers, it means planning for the 2022 campaign remains on hold leaving some of their biggest off-season questions up in the air. As the lockout drags on, here are five ways it is impacting the team. Before the lockout, the Dodgers didn't make many major off-season splashes. While they added Andrew Heaney for rotation depth, resigned versatile Chris Taylor and avoided arbitration with Cody Bellinger, they largely stood pat during a frantic finish to the pre-lockout free agency market. The expectation was that the team would pursue bigger names once the off-season resumed. When that will be, however, remains unclear. Among stars who remain unsigned, the top target for the Dodgers could be first baseman Freddie Freeman. While the Southern California native has spent his entire pro career with the Atlanta Braves, he didn't agree to a new contract with the defending World Series champions before the start of the lockout, with reports indicating a gulf exists between him and the club on a long-term deal. If the Braves fail to retain the 32-year-old, the Dodgers seem to be a logical fit. He would give them a left-handed power bat which would help compensate for the loss of Corey Seager. He would solidify the team's first base position, especially with Max Muncy coming back from a torn elbow ligament. And he would add more depth to a lineup that will have to adapt the forthcoming addition of the designated hitter to the National League. Freeman isn't the only star who could be an option for the Dodgers. Prior to the lockout, the team was reportedly linked to former Houston Astros shortstop Carlos Correa and Japanese outfielder Seiya Suzuki. They might be in the market for more pitching depth, too. But the longer the lockout lasts, the less time will be left for off-season transactions, and the more frantic the process will become for the Dodgers to bolster their roster before the start of the year.